Hey, what's up, DP? Nate Lara signing on. And I'm Heather Connor, and here's what's happening on DP News. Congrats to the Dos Pueblos Jazz Choir and Combo for being awarded the best performance group in this year's Downtown Holiday Parade. Be on the lookout for them this week in many of your classes as they bring some holiday cheer with holiday carols that we featured at last Saturday's Holiday Festival at the Voice Concert. Anyone who has seen the 2013 year knows that it's truly amazing. It has spectacular stories and is a book for everyone from 9th to 12th grade. Yesterday the book was once again recognized on a national scale, being named the finalist in the Columbia University Crown Awards for the second year in a row. That puts our book in the top 20 in the nation, and in March they'll find out if the book moves into the top 10 in the country. You can always pick up a 2013 yearbook or pre-order the 2014 book in the business office or online at the DPHS bookstore. I highly recommend it. This is the Dos Pueblos High School yearbook. Looks pretty normal, right? Wrong. Um, it's, it's crossing boundaries that other schools haven't. It's not only like really cool like design elements and everything, but it's also interactive, so people can see the year not just through pictures, but also through videos. How is that possible? Well, here's the best way to describe it. So let's say this is your yearbook and you have your smartphone. All you gotta do is as you flip through the yearbook, hold the smartphone over it, and the app makes the pictures come to life, basically using facial recognition that matches the pictures with the video. DP's yearbook advisor, John Dent, found out about the technology at a conference. And so I came back and pitched the idea to my staff, and my students said, yeah, let's try it out, let's, let's see what it's like. Our book theme this year was capture, and how each memory and moment in the school year can be captured in its, um, in its time frame, and this takes that even beyond what we could ever do with words and pictures. It's amazing to see how this works, and the yearbook staff has been having a great time explaining it to their friends and classmates. Well, everyone's really excited, and at first, they don't really know what to do with it, and they are like, oh, what's Erasmus and stuff, but as soon as they figure out how it works, then everyone is really into it. Um, I think that they're just kind of, like, blown away, and, like, they don't really know what to expect, and, like, when you look at a page, you see everything at once, and then you take out your phone and you realize how much more there is to the book. But I think having Erasmus in the book um, just makes it ten times better, and it's really a big surprise for the school. Dos Pueblos is the only school in the country using Erasma to this extent in their yearbook. They have over 100 videos in there. Hi, it's Miss Choi. I'm in A1 and I teach the academy class. The staff has won many national recognition awards in the past, and this year they're probably going to capture another one. In Galita, Joe Butita, News Channel 3. So apparently we have a lacrosse team at our school. If you're interested in it at all, there's an informational meeting today at B3 at lunch, so be sure to be there. Teacher Carrie Miller has been notified that she is a recipient of the NST Innovative Instruction Grant for $12,000. NST, National Security Technology, is a contractor to the U.S. Department of Energy. The grant for her commitment to improve, improving science, technology, engineering, and math education for students at DPHS. Local Color Art and Literary Magazine is accepting submissions for this year's 2014 issue. All students are invited to submit their artwork, photography, and their writing. For details for submitting stuff on DP, on DP Local Color, go to dpnews.org. Today is the last day to bring in your non-perishables for the can drive. Bring anything you have to P2 or the main office. It's also the last day for the penny drive, so drop any change you have in your fourth period bucket. So clubs happening today are the Ideas Club in H5. Remember, it's a good idea to go. Science Club in S3, Twister Club in H17, Evan Club in H8, and JSA in, H in S5. Be there. Reminder, F1 Club and M1 are not going to be happening today. Sorry. Remember that holiday package continues tonight and tomorrow. But since the shows are sold out, you can tune into dpnews.org to watch it live. Here's Alex Mackey. Hey guys, uh, Alex Mackey here. I'm in the 2013 Male Ballet 
performance that happens every night for the rest of this week and I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what I do to prepare before I go on stage for male ballet. I always start off my routine with 35 push-ups and 35 sit-ups. Sometimes I do more when I'm feeling robust. After I do my workouts, I like to fetch myself a nice nutritious snack. Check up's dog bone for fiber, V8 fusion light for vitamin C, three chips for salt, one egg for protein, and a banana for potassium. This shake really packs a hit to my ballet game. The shake is a mere 265 calories and fills me up with energy before I hit the stage. After I've finished eating my snack, I need to mentally and physically prepare myself for the big night. Showtime. Be sure to be in the Greek tomorrow. You'll be able to sit on Santa's lap, take a photo, and win some awesome gifts from the big man himself. I'm Heather Kana. And I'm Nate Lara. We'll see you tomorrow, Duki. No over to you seen with your sports. Good morning, those fellow Chargers. What was basketball struggle against Santa Barbara Dons last night, and they lost 58 to 37 here at home for the league opening. Our next game is tomorrow against Buena at Buena. Best of luck to our basketball team. Girls soccer played against the Royal Grande last yesterday. We tied 1-1 thanks to a goal by uh, Stephanie Romero. Our girls enter the San Marcos tournament this weekend. Good luck. This weekend, our boys baseball has a tournament in the St. Bonaventure Winter Classic and play the first game this Friday at 1 p.m. Make us proud, boys. As for Dos Pueblos News and the rest of us, this is Nick Solon signing off.